monorail red if you can't tell from the color behind me. We've had an awesome, incredible trip, guys. This, this is for two days of a whirlwind of joy and play and magic and fun. Anybody who tells you they can't find the magic, they're not looking for it. It is there. We share joy with them, they share joy with them. Welcome aboard Monorail Red, our next stop will be the Contemporary Resort. Okay. If you're safe, please Let's keep your big covers on and you'll see the automatic one more time. Ah, yes. That's really pretty. Yeah, the, and it really looks nice with uh, the front building there at the confectionery now. They've really updated the look. Yeah. Nice. That is awesome. There's Nick. Here we go, guys. Bye, Magic Kingdom. See you at the festival. Have a good birthday party. Yeah. We'll be here to celebrate it a little late. We're always in the belated room. Hi, look, the people in the other cabin left. It is just us. Woo! We're having a party. Yay, we don't have to worry about people taking their masks off. Yay! <laughs> Very, uh, toxic building, random parking, all the way out there that you have to walk to. Up back to the Holly. Let me go to the Holly. Yep. Well, eventually it'll go, oh, I see it goes kind of around. So it used to be that you kind of went into it, it was under and in the poly, but it now looks like there's a little covered area outside. I'm sorry, you guys can't see from there, sorry. Nice closer view. <laughs> there's a lot Yay. of construction below. Forward. Forward, what? Oh, the oh. phone cord. So it'll be a longer walking in, and they're building this whole area up here. And you Definitely see that kind of longboat look on the main building. So we're going to be going to Grand Floridian to Gasparilla Island Grill. We'll put the food book review for that in a different video. I have an hour and 15 minutes before we have to be driving to the airport. Wow, what a whirlwind. So exciting. All right, here we go, guys. We started in the Grand Flow. We end in the Grand Flow. The piano player's back. I love listening carefully to him. Every once in a while, he'll do something that just makes you laugh. I remember him playing Bohemian Rhapsody once. Last view of Magic Kingdom. And away we go. Absolutely awesome trip. We are now headed over to her car to repack things and head on out. Yeah, this was good. This is real good. You have an easy pass and you would like to travel in Florida. <laughs> That's it's still weird. weird. I thought you okay. said that. Okay. Um, there are a select amount of toll roads in the Orlando area that will accept Easy Pass. Before it was Sun Pass, you could do it one of two ways. One, there was a little sticker that you would put down in the bottom window, uh -huh. but it was uh, a permanent sticker. You couldn't move it from car to car. Okay. Um, but it was cheaper to, to get in the first okay. place. The other option, which is up here, is the normal sun pass transponder okay. um which can be moved from vehicle to vehicle and the sun pass website is really nice in that um it is very easy to add on a rental car nice and when you put it on you put punch in specifically what time you picked up the car what time you're dropping off the car nice so you can't get over um, charged, overcharged, or you know, get somebody else's tolls, right? Charged, right. Um, and it's definitely cheaper than uh, the paying the rent car rental company right. uh, for toll purposes. Um, so I had the Sun Pass uh, not only for my own vehicle but for using rental cars because yeah. um, they used to do this absolutely wonderful. Um, thing in May where because so many cars had been brought in for spring break mm -hmm. they wanted to get all the excess rental cars out of Florida so oh, gotcha. for the month of May they had this incredible deal where for like seven dollars a day Disney as long Springs, as you by the way. what Disney Springs oh Springs Lime Garage Lime Garage Excuse me, not lime. That's, that's um, orange. That's no, that's grapefruit. That's grapefruit. Okay. That's grapefruit. Grapefruit is cast members, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, sorry, go ahead again. Um, so insane car rental rates of like seven bucks a day as long as you drove the car out of the state of Florida. Wow. So I had multiple chips on the chips, trips, yes. on the Uber cheap where I would do a one-way flight. Um, actually, it was when Southwest had really cheap flights out oh, of nice. Richmond. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would fly one way out of Richmond, pick up a rental car. Drive it to Richmond. Drive it back up to Richmond. And what's nice about the extended parking at Richmond was is I could drive the rental car to my car, transfer everything over. Oh, nice. And then get then take the car back to the airport nice. and then take the little shuttle bus back to my car. Nice. Oh, it worked so wonderfully. So th this is also right next to one of my timeshares. Right behind this is the SeaWorld property timeshare that uh, I can stay at my home Grand Vacation Club. And this is where one of the better of the two Disney outlets is. And there's another one that's on, uh, this is International Drive, I believe, and there's another one that's a little farther away. Yes. No, this is Vineland. Oh, this is Vineland. This is the really good one. International Drive is a little farther away. Is the character warehouse at International Drive unfortunately is now smaller because it got converted. Right. It used to be the better of the two. Gotcha. It was bigger. Okay. And because it wasn't right next to Disney, it usually would have better selection. Yep. And unfortunately, they like sold off half the size. Well, we're still together. Favorite part of the two the two days we were together. Yeah, but. Uh... Favorite meal? <laughs> Trying to give you at least some way to break it down. I know, I know. Um, when did I do my happy dance the most? I did. Everything was decent. Yeah. It was, I mean, you know, damning with faint praise. Yeah, well. Um, you know, of course, everything was extremely expensive because, you know, right. Disney, Disney prices. Yeah. Um, if there's not a food thing, then is there another experience that was like, yay, this is so cool? <laughs> I, liked your, I liked your skipper. Yes, our skipper was good. Um, oh, oh no, that wasn't you. Sorry. <laughs> true, true. Why have you spurned me? <laughs> day at Epcot, day at, 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 at Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Um, it's all a blur. Um, Night and CBR. <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm sorry that it made you sick, but the fact that I actually got, got you on. on two rides that you absolutely don't like doing. Right, yeah. She liked to abuse me. She I, wanted to abuse me. You heard it. I offered. She didn't have to go with me. I know, and I said I was going to give it a try because it's been a while. I knew the ride enough that I could actually hold a camera on her. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see what that footage actually looks like. Um, so, yeah. We ran into so many awesome cast members this trip. So many awesome cast members. Um, people that were just funny or will help, were helpful. Um, Daniel over in the France Pavilion. Ryan, the photographer. Um, Robert, the only photographer in Magic Kingdom with that name. Who we owe a Dole Whip to. We owe Yeah, we do owe a Dole Whip. Um, going and seeing Monsters, Inc. again. Being able to watch the Hall of Presidents again. Uh, the, the wait staff at a bunch of the restaurants was really exceptional. The fact that we didn't have any really bad issues. People were very accommodating with all of our dietary restrictions. Oh, the fact that neither of us have had a, a reaction. I yeah. Yeah, it was comfortable and... I mean, I may have a reaction with chili, but that's normal, but it's chili. Um, <laughs> but in terms of our allergies and yeah. tolerances, exactly. the, the bad fact is, is every once in a while there is cross-contamination right. or something happens and all of a sudden you go, uh, uh, I mean, yeah. it's kind of why I really don't like going back to um, be our guest is because mm. every single time I have eaten there, oh, I have had a reaction. That's um, not good. Yeah. And last time I was there with, with uh, Flame, um, we both had oh. different um, reactions where I was like, afterwards, really, we were not happy. That's not um, good. So, so, advice for anybody traveling with Michelle? Take your
your energy bills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's probably fair. Be, be prepared to um, be sidekick. Yeah, for the yeah for the video stuff for yeah. sure. Yeah, because definitely when when your traveling partners are willing to rob into your Batman. Yeah, you you get better videos. Oh, absolutely, much more fun. You know, uh, anytime you're on stage, if you have someone to bounce off of, a partner to play with, that makes all the difference. It's it's entertainment, and and this is entertainment. I mean, it is infotainment, kind of, but it is entertainment. So hopefully, you are entertained. The fact that basically we were walked on to every single ride. Yeah. And it wasn't the fact that I. It, I mean, the DAS it helped, it helped a couple occasions, but not but the thing is, is that the only thing that it really helped with was test track. To, uh, test track. Yeah. Was to give a shorter walking path for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, because otherwise, really, almost every single ride, even if we weren't doing DS, was walk on. Yeah. The, when we hit them, because you know, we've learned, you know, it's summer, starting around lunchtime. It's gonna rain. Yep. And if it's raining, all the outdoor rides shut down. Loads. Yep. So, especially when you're at Epcot, get test track done first thing in the morning. Yep, yep. That is always my advice. Always, always, always. Always, always, always. Because seriously, that, you know, all it needs is lightning 10 miles out and yep. that thing shuts down. Yep. Also, if there isn't lightning, and you happen to be riding it when rain starts. It hurts. It hurts. A lot. Yes. Pain. 65 miles, well, 64.5 miles, miles per an hour. hour. Yeah. Little tiny rain pellets in your face Ow. hurt. Ouch. So, yeah, it, it definitely always recommend um, hitting test track in the morning if yep. you can. Yeah. I've just, I've just been shocked at how... But from... Frozen. Frozen had a 15 minute wait on a we Saturday. We walked on to Frozen from the standby line. What the hell? So we got to go by Oaken. Yep, yep. Oaken. Um, Woohoo. We, we did uh, sad things. We did not get to do the French ice cream sandwich, nor did we get to do the Italy ice cream. They were both closed by the time. Well, well France had a really, really long line, and, and uh, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, Italy was closed. closed. Okay. Favorite moment on Saturday, I think, has to be watching the fireworks. I cried through a third of it. It was It was just, you never expect it. You know, I've seen them before. It's, oh, it's okay. But there was something about being in the park finally and seeing fireworks again. That was just an awesome experience and something that I missed a whole lot. Um, yeah, just so much good stuff. So much good stuff. Now, had you seen Epcot Forever? Yes. You, okay, so you had seen it with the kites and the sea yes. doos. Yep. Okay. Yep, twice. Two or three times, actually. So, yeah. So, I definitely seen it um, right before the closure. I saw it. Right. That's You were there the day before. Right. Right. It was in Epcot the Saturday and then Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom on the Sunday. Um, and I will put the video, if I can remember to link it, of our last time in Magic Kingdom before the closure. We had an awesome skipper that day who was a CP, DCP. And had just been informed the day before he wasn't going to have a job anymore. Like, he, this job he'd worked so hard for it, it was gone. And... Oh, because he was a college program. Yep. And he's in the middle of doing the show. And it was, he was like, you know, I hope everyone's having a good day. I said, we hope you are. Are you having a good day? And he went, as good as can be expected. I went, okay. And I turned off my video camera because I was recording this. My friend didn't, actually, because he didn't realize what I was doing. And I very quietly leaned him and said, DCP and he went yep I went I am so sorry because you know you knew this the day before we were in the Skyliner with two people two two uh, people just just short of sobbing uh, the guy had gotten his dream job at Galaxy's Edge and he knew even if he came back he wasn't going to have a job anymore uh, the young woman was four days from finishing her program and was going to was applying to be full time and because she was five four days short they wouldn't hire her so, and she'd been working in the florist area and stuff. So it was like just heartbreaking stories. And I'm, I mean, those are two out of thousands of people who are the workforce of Disney. So it was, it was sadness. It was sadness, but we are getting close to the airport. So we're going to switch gears. So I have everything ready and say goodbye to Miss Rachel. Bye. It was lovely to play with you. Bye.
They finally, after how many years? Times that we've tried to plan this, I know. In, I know. in how many years of the, you know, I'll be there, you're not there. Huh? Exactly, exactly. It just, it never worked out. And this time it just happened to. So, awesome perfection. We're going to hang up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, um... <laughs>
I work in a business where I'm going to be outside and around people a lot, so I really had to be cautious. It was really cool to do food and wine and try out the food. The lines were short. I don't know if it's because of the threat of Tropical Storm Fred, which, to be completely frank, I almost thought of canceling. Um, I don't know if it was because of just the sheer you know, the heat, etc., the ma new ma the return of the mask policy at Disney. Um, it was a lot emptier than it had been in the past. The plane flight was, was full, but, and um, I do not like being stranded in the Skyliner for six minutes or more with it not moving in the dark. No, that's, that's pretty much a big, you can't see my mouth because it's covered. But, mm, no, not a good plan. I went to try to go out the truck level because I didn't have my bags with me, and unfortunately they did a, um, they closed all the doors upstairs so I couldn't go out there, so I had to come down here where it's crowded, which always makes this step miserable. But I've already let my friend know, I've got my bags, everyone else is waiting for the baggage, so it saves me a little bit of time to go a little faster. I have sanitized my hands, and we are done. What an amazing trip, guys. I hope you came along. I hope you had a good time enjoying this. If you haven't done so already, please remember to like this video. Share it by, uh, like it by doing the thumbs up. Share it by uh, sharing the link and, and telling people about this vlog. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more of what I've got. I'm going to be heading back in November and I'll be doing live chats about traveling in Disney and what the planning is like. And I hope you guys are all ready to join us. Very excited for you to come along. I'm so glad you were here for this one. I don't have a tagline. Really? She really doesn't have a tagline. Ask her. I, I haven't. I, every single time, I don't have a tagline. Wait a minute. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?